And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Arizona Diamondbacks. John Shambi, Chris Singleton and with now, you. Max Muncy riding a power surge coming into this one, Chris. He's Arizona homered in four straight Diamondback. games. He is managing to find pitches that he can barrel up and do damage with. And really, that's the key for him. As long as he can get the bat to it, because he's so strong, there's a good chance that it leaves the ballpark. So just about set now. And starting this one, Corbin Martin. Chris, he's looking for a bounce Batting back four. this season. The third base a player. really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. Good two seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled Batting over it, got the ground out. The center fielder. Sam Hillier, the next Hillier. to hit. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Two on, two outs. That's a base hit, run scores. Well, they strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Here comes Max Muncy. Had the day off yesterday. Batting six. The lefty the ready and a 1-1. One -one. In the dirt. Muncy. No advance. Good job behind the dish. great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on let's see if they can cash in out to short they get the force they limit the damage here Onto the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Pirates nothing. Hey, come on now. Gerald time, right Raymond here. now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. You talk about the power and the, the speed together. The third base oh, he knew he was going to be a stud right just here. coming up, hey, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Hit hard, base hit, and that one's going to get into the corner. Here comes the runner. Not in time. He's safe. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Sam Hillier getting ready to hit. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Sam. And the next yeah, pitch is one. way outside. Raymond stands at third on, with one guy, gone to the inning. And a pitch. Roy, as he glides to his left. Makes the catch up against the wall in foul territory. Runner tagging from third. It's a sack fly as he comes across to score, and they're up by three. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Gerald Raymond. Now he's batting. not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes.
Out to short. Nice stop. Davidson over to second to first. Not in time. Great effort there. Well, this is obviously a oh, tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a no well broken in glove. To have Man. the confidence to go down, knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer, pop back up to the feet, and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. So up next, Sam Hillier. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Raymond hung up in a rundown now. Tag, and he's out at first. Couldn't get back to the bag. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Now batting third baseman. Go, boy. Key Brian Hayes. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to third. Raymond over to pick it up. Sends it across the first, and that'll do it. Nice work from the snake pen there. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. All tied up at three apiece. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, Matt now, Frazier. Go, guys. Let's go. Fielder, Matt Frazier. That's to third. Raymond handles the chance. Fires across the diamond, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. So no change in the score. It's 3-3. Three, three. So two down. Now at the plate, Gerald Raymond. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Let her fly. Pump me up right here. Hey, get your pitch and drive it, huh? Lasers all day. Got a boy. Let's fly. Let's go right here. High drive, deep right field, way back there, out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. His 22nd homer of the year, it's 6-3. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can, perhaps push it up to double digits.